And we just wanted to reach out and show the family that, that people are still praying and care. A community continues to come together and support as a young man fights for his life in the hospital. A Knox County father is charged with manslaughter nearly seven months after his son's death. Tonight, why a grand jury indicted him in the case. And the Rowan County clerk receives an award that recognizes people targeted for their religious beliefs. Hear what she had to say during her acceptance speech. Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT News at 11. Good evening to you tonight. A Bath County student seriously injured in a crash is continuing to fight for his life. Aaron Williams is still in critical condition at UK Hospital. Police say the teenager was on his way to a homecoming dance in Bath County last weekend when he lost control of the car. All week, several communities have been coming together in central Kentucky to raise money and to pray for Williams and his family. Tonight, Garrett Weimers in Montgomery County. The community there held another event to show its support. Garrett has our top story at 11. The cars wrapped around the community center in Jeffersonville. Inside, so did the people. Yellow t shirts wall to wall with a powerful purpose. It just lets them know hey, we're here. You focus on Aaron, we're going to help you where you need it. With a benefit dinner, live auction, t shirt sale, plus words of encouragement urging Aaron to keep fighting, they're helping out a young man who friends say is always helping others. He'd do anything that just to cheer you up. If you needed someone to talk to, he was there. If you needed a friend, he would be your friend. Organizers say the support from the community, not just here at the benefit, but ever since the accident, has been more than they ever could have imagined. I'm amazed at these people and the way that they've come out. You know, we're charging $5 for a meal and they're giving 20. You know, it's, it's amazing that people has just come out and are giving the way that they're giving. But at the end of the day, it's not about the money. It's about the message, one you'll find right on the front of those yellow shirts. Pray for Aaron. It means a lot to me to know that people care about Aaron and, you know, they see what he's been through and what his family's going through. And for them to do something to support him, it makes me happy to know that people care. In Montgomery County, Garrett Weimer, WKYT. Now, organizers tell us they raised nearly $5,200 at tonight's event. A busy Montgomery County road is back open tonight after a deadly crash. It happened this afternoon at the intersection of US 60 and the bypass, bypass in Mount Sterling. Investigators say a white car tried to make a left turn onto US 60 and drove into the path of a tractor trailer. Investigators say a teenager in the passenger seat of the white car died in the crash. Both drivers were rushed to the hospital. The coroner has not yet released the name of the victim. A Knox County father is facing serious charges tonight in connection to the death of his son. Today, a grand jury indicted Jonathan Patterson with manslaughter for encouraging his underage son to drive while under the influence. 13 year old Jathan Patterson died in February after police say he took his mother's car on a joyride and crashed it. Monique Blair is in Knox County with the latest. Kentucky State Police say around 2.30 in the morning on February 23rd, 13-year-old Jathan Patterson stole his mom's car. Patterson struck an embankment and the car flipped. He died. Now almost seven months to the day, Patterson's father is being charged with manslaughter. The indictment, handed down from the Knox County Grand Jury on Friday, says 34-year-old Jonathan Patterson encouraged his son to operate a motor vehicle while under intoxicants. Patterson is also charged with unlawful transaction with a minor. The indictment goes on to say he induced or caused his son to engage in activity involving illegal controlled substances in the course, causing his son to die. And the third charge on Patterson is for complicity to theft, saying he helped or attempted to help his son take his mother's car. That's also Patterson's ex-wife, without her knowledge. A second man was also listed on the indictment, 34-year-old Brandon Bledsoe. He's charged with unlawful transaction with a minor. I spoke with Jathan Patterson's mom Friday afternoon. She told me that after hearing her ex-husband, Jonathan Patterson, has been charged in her son's death, it doesn't change the way she feels about the situation because it still doesn't bring her son back. We are told the 14-year-old female passenger who was riding in Patterson's car suffered non-life-threatening injuries. In Knox County, Monique Blair, WKYT. 
Both Patterson and Bledsoe are already in jail on unrelated charges. We contacted them to get their side of the story, but they did not want to go on camera. A Breathitt County man now knows how long he'll spend in prison for the death of his four friends. Sean Harden admitted he was under the influence when he crashed his pickup last year. The judge denied Harden's attorney's request for probation and sentenced him to 13 years in prison. His four best friends, Pearl Armstrong, Adam Fugit, Joshua Thorpe, and Lee Campbell, all died in that crash. Thorpe's mother says 13 years just isn't enough. Josh was an organ donor, and he saved four lives. So no matter how much meanness Mr. Harden can get into and cause, Josh kind of canceled it out in the bigger scheme of things, I think. Harden will be eligible for parole after serving 20% of his sentence, which is about two and a half years. He already has about 10 months of credit for time served. Tonight, we have new surveillance video using the trial of a former Lexington firefighter. Last night, Jared McCargo was found guilty of assault and DUI in a crash that seriously injured a soldier. The surveillance video shows the crash last year at the beer trap in Chevy Chase. Now, in the video right there, you can see the driver of an SUV trying to parallel park, but instead, hit Noel Espino out and crashed through the building. The jury recommended a 10-year sentence for McCargo. His final sentencing hearing is scheduled for November. A tearful thank you tonight from embattled Rowan County Clerk Kim Davis. Davis is in Washington, D.C., where she received the Cost of Discipleship Award from the Family Research Council. Organizers say the award recognizes people targeted for their religious beliefs. Davis addressed the crowd during her acceptance speech, thanking everyone for their support. I have discovered through all of this that his grace is truly sufficient in all things. I am only one, but we are many. Thank you all so very much. Casey County Clerk Casey Davis was also at tonight's award ceremony. Davis is also refusing to issue marriage licenses.